Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. You might have noticed there's a few changes in here. I have actually moved, which I'm gonna be doing a video on soon, how I reorganize my new house. And I've got a little bit more blonder of a hair. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my whole journey with that. Um, but I just wanted to say I'm back. I have moved. I have more time to film videos now. Super excited. Today's video is a really important one because this is a topic that I talk about a lot. And honestly, I don't have like a resource to send people to. I have talked about this in multiple videos, but I wanted to have one video specifically on this topic. And that is the concept of the 13 pillars. Now, originally I learned about this through August Bradley, but I've kind of tweaked and modified it for myself. So I'm going to be talking through specifically how I use it, why it's important, why I think ADHDers can really benefit from this. So let's just get started. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and join our Facebook group. So what are the 13 pillars? Why are they important? What, what's going on? All right. So I'm going to show you guys a graphic right here that shows you guys the 13 pillars of your life, not just business, not just ADHD, not just whatever, the 13 pillars that organize your life. Okay. I think pillars in a lot of people's minds are just a concept. I use these very practically in how I organize, not just, you know, notion, but also everything in my life, my Google photos, my email, uh, notes on my phone, uh, you know, projects that I'm working on. Everything in my life is organized folders on my computer, folders and things in my house. It truly is a revolutionary system. And I'll walk you through a little bit of how I use it, but I want to talk about each pillar and kind of describe to you. And what has happened is I haven't found anything in my life that doesn't fit into one of these 13. I've tried. Everything fits into these 13. Now I have heard other people use additional pillars and that's fine. These are the ones I use and just make sure that if you are using additional ones that, you know, they make sense to you. So let's just get started with what they are and then we'll talk about how to utilize them. So I like to categorize these into home, business, and health. So let's talk through them. Okay, so now let's talk about home, right? That's the first category. This is stuff that happens in your house, things that have to do with uh, just your personal life. And so the first one is entertainment. What falls under entertainment? Movies, books, TV, anything that you consume, anything that you like to uh, experience. So whether that's going to a theater with friends, that's watching your favorite TV show, that falls under entertainment as a pillar. This pillar is family. This can include husband, wife, kids, parents, cousins, siblings, even your dog. This falls under family as a pillar. The next one is friends and social. This also includes dating and networking. So anytime you have any friends or anything that has to do with your social life, going out, doing things, events around town with other people, that falls under friends and social. Home and household. This is anything to do with where you live, whether it's moving, whether it's organizing your house, whether it's, uh, you know, anything to do with your home. That is, you know, renovations, all that goes under home. Personal finance is the next category. So this has anything to do with money, budgeting, bills, insurance, anything to do with personal finance is that category. And the final one in home is travel. So anytime you're traveling, uh, whether that's getting a passport renewed or booking flights or even anything with your car. So, you know, mileage or gas, all that has to do with travel. All right. Now the second category is business and business is if you have a job or if you're an entrepreneur, either one. So the first one is business projects. So anything you're working on at work, falls under the business projects category. So I always like to organize each thing I'm doing at work as a business project. And then you have usually tasks below that. But if it's a larger project, say example, you're writing a book, that would be a business project. So you kind of have like the large categories of the projects and you can also organize them by priority. The next one is clients. So this is specifically people or organizations that you're working with. So tracking a CRM, so tracking who you are working with, that sort of thing. All right, the next one, and this is interesting, we have to kind of clarify the difference between content creation and sales and marketing. Content creation is anything to do with social media marketing, whether that's creating podcasts, YouTube videos, TikToks, Instagram, anything to do with content where you're creating content to put out on social media, that is content creation. Sales and marketing can include PR, uh, ads, 
anything that's like paid or is not technically content or social media marketing. Um, I kind of try to distinguish those because one is something you create and the other is something you work with other people to make. So that is just something that I like to sort of differentiate. And the final category is health. So the first one, health and fitness, this is everything to do with working out, your body, food, cooking, anything to do with the kitchen, anything to do with making food or working out is health and fitness, anything to do with medicine, medical, all that stuff. However, that does not include things like ADHD, which fall under the next category, which is mental clarity. Mental clarity, or considered, I like to call it like mental health, is anything to do with your brain, anything to do with any you know mental disorders that you may have or anything to do with maybe good or bad things that are happening in your brain and then the last one which is also different than mental clarity is actually mind expansion so mind expansion is learning it's taking courses it's reading books it's learn anything that you're like expanding your mind about so that's the difference mental clarity is more of like meditation really making sure your mental health is clear and 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 the last one is more about learning and educating yourself so i've gone through all the pillars and kind of walked you through what each of them is now let's talk a little bit about how you can use this i'm gonna show you guys some screenshots over here of examples one of the things that i do is whenever i work with someone new that is overwhelmed with their life is i ask them about if they use pillars and a lot of times they've never heard of it so one of the things i like to start with is email email is so important to have organized so you will see that i actually have all of these color coordinated as well i personally have set up colors for each of my pillars because a lot of these systems can have colors and it's easy for me to remember uh, you know, that, that that's a color. It's just easy to know that when it comes into my inbox, it's labeled with a color and it goes under one of the 13 pillars. So you'll see over here on the left, I scroll through my Google email and you will see that I have organized everything where first I have the name of the pillar. So if it's health and fitness, and let's just say as an example, it's, um, you know, Caroline Gervin, who is my favorite YouTube fitness guru. If I were to get an email from her, it would be automatically labeled as health and fitness pillar and then Caroline Gervin. So this allows me to organize my folders on my email by pillar, by color, by pillar. And it's just very easy for me to know and know exactly where my, my folders are, especially if I have hundreds of them, which I usually do because I subscribe to a lot of newsletters and things. This also can be true when it comes to notes on Apple Notes. I absolutely love Apple Notes. It's probably the thing I just open up quickly if I have an idea. But after time, usually like every month, I go through and organize my notes um, and then put them into the pillar folders. Unfortunately, you can't color coordinate Apple Notes, but this is a great way to kind of find, and again, the more that you use pillars, the more you start thinking in pillars. And the more that you start like knowing exactly where things fit within a pillar. Uh, sometimes you can have like folders within folders. I can go on. If you want part two, let me know. Another thing I also like to organize with that is Canva. If you ever use Canva for any type of design, I actually use the pillar systems with Canva. So that's another great way to use the pillars um, as well. My Google bookmarks. I actually organize all my Google bookmarks where the top layer of folders is my pillar. And then I have folders or links underneath that pillar. Again, sometimes you can have folders that are within folders. And so you kind of have a hierarchy system within your own organizational tools. I mentioned Google Photos. I actually just did a video last week. You should check that one out. I mentioned the, the pillars as well as Google Drive. Google Drive, you can also label with color, which is super fun. So if you are using Google Drive, you can also label with pillars. Files on your computer. This is a really powerful one where you can actually organize your desktop or your documents by pillar. Your calendar, you can actually label Google Calendar iCal with pillars and then you can have the same exact colors again. So again, my life has been organized completely by pillars. That's just, it's just, it's just taken over. And lastly, Notion, my update to the ADHD Life Tracker template starts off with everything organized by pillars. It's actually an amazing way to organize Notion and I absolutely love the update. So you can see my video, I think it was like two videos ago where I talk about how I've updated my ADHD and Notion 
uh, workflow and, and how the pillars have become essential part of my Notion workflow. So make sure to go watch that video as well. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful. A really quick overview of my pillar system that I love. Again, I have to thank August Bradley for introducing this concept to me. I've really taken it and really like embedded it in my life. And I really think it's so helpful to not only ADHDers, but everyone else on the internet. I think it is absolutely the best system for any type of organization. So anyways, hope you guys have a great week. I have so many more videos planned. I'm so excited and I'll talk to you guys next week.